I honestly didn't know what to expect yesterday. Uh, there was something really refreshing and clean about just putting a few belongings in a bag and just walking. I, I didn't know how I'd get on. Um, I'm not the fittest, so it was just so freeing. And we had so many different adventures along the way. And what I really took from it was like one minute you're just looking at a scene like this and the next second it would change. And I was aware of how much I would have missed if I'd just been at home working on PC. So when you talk yeah. about we had so many adventures along the way, mm. what are you thinking about? I think in the first hour we went through torrential rain, there was wind, then we came to something similar like this where it was beautiful and the colours, the vastness, just the forever change. And then we saw seals, we saw, we've seen our fourth rainbow. <laughs> It was just spectacular, just the vastness of being in the elements for me. It was different to how I've seen the elements before. It was like we were at their mercy and within the next few hours we were literally being blown around. Mm -hmm. I've never had that in my life, literally just blown, physically taken up and blown off these cliffs. And Well, not off the cliffs. Oh, not off the cliffs, no. But Come on. Literally off. No, like, yeah, yeah, we've, it was hard to stay on your feet. We yeah. managed, but it was a struggle. It was a struggle, yeah. yeah. But it, it and, 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 and we talked about how many of the things that we were experiencing were all, um, were like metaphors for life. Like the wind so, pushing us from yeah. our feet, uh, how that happens in life and how when you're not fighting it that much, when yeah. you're not trying to stay upright yeah. and leaning very hard into the wind, and then falling over when the wind suddenly drops away. Yeah. When you move with it, it's so much easier to stay upright somehow. Yes. You had to give in. It, it, yeah. was, it was that strong. And yeah. So in the end, it was amusing. Most of the time, it was amusing to me because it was like, yeah. this is me and my resistance, where yeah. you just try and crack on through it. But actually, if you just went with the wind, you were literally, you could move with it. If you grounded into it, it was then you were moving with it. That's what I felt mm. by the end of the day. I was moving with the elements. It wasn't always easy. Yeah. We're now on the, at the start of our second day. Mm -hmm. When you compare it to the start of the first day, how is this different? Is it different? Um, I feel I know more what to expect and how to do it better. I found my pace. Mm -hmm. You helped me to find my pace. So now instead of, I was still trying to beat something this invisible thing and you've helped me to find my pace with that so now I know how to walk better I know how to be grounded within my walking space which is still new to me mm -hmm. so yeah. I feel in a new space I literally don't know where I am but I'm not fighting that the control of needing to know okay and yesterday there was still an element of that mm. so no I'm open I'm open and I feel good I feel cool. like walking yeah very cool what was different between day one and day two. Uh, day two I felt more confident and I felt like I knew what I was doing more. It was more of a challenge but I liked that I rose to the challenge. Um, I learned about hills going up and down that were steeper than day one. There were more of them, there was more endurance and that really, it was endurance in a different way so that caused me to have to really focus, really put the skills in place, and then I learned more about the placement of my feet. Um, instead of tiptoeing on the front part of my foot and going up, which I found I I almost like tiptoed or leaned forward on my feet and used my thighs, and my whole body was forward, which meant I felt my back pat. And instead, you completely suggested I change it around, which was feet centered on the floor so front middle and back were on the floor and i literally trod up the hill in a slower pace but it meant i was upright so i could breathe the backpack was in a better position and i was actually able to got heels still breathing without stopping as much and i certainly did more than i believe i could have done without that address is there something in there that you translate to what it is that you do yourself as, as a business, as your vision. 
the physical helped with the breathing, so I'm very aware of my breathing. So the physical is a big part of the breathing. Hmm. So changing, what I found was changing the foot placement elongated my legs, which I've been trying to do for a long time. So as much as that hurt, I could really feel the back of my legs coming back. It, it felt like it, it reposturized me, if that's a word. It gave that me a, a different body placement and I was able to breathe easier as I went uphill. Because normally I would have rushed up ah, and I didn't feel that pull. So it was almost like someone was pulling me ahead. On the second day I lost that rush. And on the third day it went completely. Who was pulling you on the first day? It was obviously me. It, it was a habit. It wasn't conscious. It was a habit of either trying to get something done, trying to get somewhere, which is what all the tiptoe was about. It was almost just get up and get it done, then it's over. But that doesn't work when we've got to work for like eight hours. So that I had to stop that, and I had to take it seriously, and I had to look at it, which I hadn't been doing on my two-hour walks. Mm -hmm. So how does that translate to what it is that you actually do? Because breathing is key. If you're not breathing, you're not present, you're not aware. And a, the posture is a lot of that because um, if you're not aware, you're not aware that your posture has changed. Um, so yeah, that was really interesting to me that it, it, it had a massive change on my performance as well. I could do more because I kept breathing and I wasn't out of breath. That was the thing. I wasn't just getting it over and done with. Um, day three I felt quite accomplished. I couldn't believe I felt so different on day three to day one. Um, my backpack didn't, um, it didn't feel heavy. Um, my posture was different. Um, my mind was different. It just felt lighter. It, the whole thing felt, I didn't I remember when the first dip and hill came up, it was like, oh, okay. And I didn't think how to do it. It was great. It was very practical, very chilled. I could appreciate the view. I was more appreciative in any discomfort than um, victim to it, shall we say. What is your biggest takeaway? Biggest takeaway? <clears throat> that I'm fitter than I thought. I'm more resilient than I thought physically. Um, I honestly, I didn't realise I was that, I was more worried than I thought about physical. I, I was in, I completely had no clue how I'd do, so I think I was just so chuffed to get through it. But it wasn't I got through it, I enjoyed every element, whatever the level of difficulty it was, so. It was a pure experience, like it, something happened in every step in every moment and learning to use my body in a different way that I didn't know gave me more mileage and will continue to so it's it's like I've got a new body it's amazing it's it's like all the phys all the physio I've had all the physical treatments I've had to help my body is it's like this is sorted out in three days and I've had fun and seen stunning scenery <laughs> Well, I needed the help. I couldn't do it on my own. I needed expert help to do it. Mm. I'd recommend it to anyone, but if I look at what um, if I look at what I got out of it, I definitely recommend it to people who are hurrying towards a goal or who push themselves too hard or too quick, who are pressured by time. So anywhere where there's a speed element in, where they don't choose to slow down in the day, um, because I I work on that consistently, and I still had to pace myself. I was shocked that that was the area I had to pace myself. So if you're not aware of your speed and how quickly you whiz through life, then I feel this would really help anyone in that situation just to see so much more in life mm. and experience so much more because you've got the elements in it, you've got the sights, you've got the feelings, there was so much that you could experience in every footstep but it meant you just had to really focus on being in that centred place every footstep you took. Mm -hmm.
And I think, you know, again, I think I go quite slowly through life, and even I felt something was pulling me to go faster. So it's anyone who puts pressure on themselves or feels pressured, mm -hmm. or overwhelmed, or stressed, or burnt out, it would certainly repace you. And even if you think you're good at it, go for the challenge and just see. Mm -hmm. Do it as a, you know, yoga teachers, therapists, anyone who was their grounded. Yeah. Already, do it as a challenge. Because they might find that they can improve by another 50%, which gives them even more. Yeah.